India Michelle here back with another video on this whole thing with Portia Williams and Simon. But before we get into it, follow me on Instagram at India underscore underscore Michelle and Snapchat India.94. Now let's get to it. So we're just going to get right into it. Um, you know, while it's still hot, while it's still fresh in the media, um, Real Housewives of Atlanta, um, Portia Williams and apparently her new boo, new fiance and and according to the you know the internet streets and the blogs and stuff that she's uh pregnant you know um and that's why you always see her allegedly wearing you know these flowy dresses because she's pregnant um that's what they're saying now i'm gonna go ahead and say i like porsche i think she's a very beautiful girl you know what i'm saying yes she's a bit ditzy and stuff like that and that's here nor there. But I always thought she was a beautiful girl. You know, recently, recently, especially this uh, last season of um, Housewives of Atlanta, uh, season 13, you know, she's really, you know, voiced her um, thoughts on the whole Black Lives Matter. She's become an activist and stuff like that. So she's doing good for as the community for Black people. But aside of that, first, her personal life, her dating life, um, if you... Uh, like myself have I might haven't watched this um uh, last season that you know just past season 13 but before you know when I uh when before I left for Egypt um I used to watch it heavy especially like the early seasons and Nini and all that even before her and Kenya was on the show um but when she came on the show she was married to Cordell Williams right I mean no Cordell Stewart yeah Cordell Stewart and, you know, that marriage kind of fell apart, you know, after her first season or whatever. And then, you know, she dated two other people. One of them, you know, she wanted a contract with, you know, just to have a baby with where, yeah, you voluntary, uh, you, uh, you, not voluntary, you volunteer your sperm so I can have a child. And cause, you know, she had had a miscarriage with Cordell and he already had a child from a previous relationship and, you know, on the show when it was going through uh therapy it looked like he didn't want a child and um then i think she was talking to somebody named duke and he damn sure didn't want her want her she kind of came off real desperate you know what I'm saying especially after her you know relationship with cordell with her marriage with cordell so then she got with dennis plump ass and it looked like she got a little tight ugly niggas you know what i'm saying ugly niggas that's wealthy so that's her prerogative you know ain't nothing wrong with a little ugly nigga but the niggas she be talking to outside the other two dudes she was talking to them niggas was ugly cordell dennis and now simon old ass and it looked like girl okay you know once upon a time it was this whole thing where everybody wanted a rich african uh dude right now like i said i'm gonna go ahead and get into it Portia Williams, even though, you know, you're a cute girl, whatever, whoop de whoop, you dead ass motherfucking wrong to be sitting here talking to Fallon's ex-husband. You know, like they said, like on other blogs, hell, the damn ink on the damn divorce papers didn't even fucking dry yet, girl. You, okay, you said, okay, on your thing, you said that the divorce was final in January of this year. Bitch, we just now getting almost halfway through May of the same year. Okay, January, February, March, April, May. Bitch, you already got a ring on your finger in May. So that means, and he just got in a divorce. So it's something that's not adding up either. You're lying about the timeline that y'all was messing around with each other. Or bitch, you just dead damn desperate for a damn man. Okay. And whole time, bitch, you the main one. Why you sitting here talking about on that long ass post that you wrote. Talking about you and uh dennis and simon had you know agreed to like leave the bs behind and you know be a uh, good um co-parents uh with baby pj girl you don't know this man from a can of paint and dennis what type of man is you to sit here and allow a dude that she just got with that you us uh, uh, apparently you and simon dennis are business partners so now portia you looking like a flip like y'all got some uh some uh not swirling but some um what's the word uh 
like y'all flipping this girl. I can't even think of the word. You know what I'm saying? I, and I had it at the tip of my tongue. But either, anyway, leave it a comment. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and speaking of leaving it at the comment, go ahead and like and subscribe while you're looking at this video. But yeah, Porsche, you looking real, real, real fucked up in these streets. Like you don't believe in girl code. Why you seeing someone say, oh, me and Fallon with, uh, are not friends. Bitch, you was friendly enough to go to her fucking house and be in her pool and be in her presence and even hanging out. You and Shamia and all them going out to the club and shit. So what the fuck do you mean y'all not friends? On the show, even though it's a reality TV show and I get it, you do certain things for ratings. And, and I'm going to get on to that speaking of ratings. But... You brought her in as a friend in previous uh on a previous season. I want to say season t eleven or twelve. Okay, that you brought her on the show as a friend, right? So while you somewhere with your titties out at her house and at the pool in front of Simon fat ass, you was I felt like you was plotting them. But back to what I said about ratings, I feel I, I don't feel like this relationship is a hundred percent real. But the simple fact that you even doing it for a check makes you look foul like you'll do anything for money okay anything for clout for a check but like you said before you ain't you you don't want to have another child allegedly that you're pregnant outside of your first baby father which is dennis now you got pregnant allegedly with simon you better hope it's a rumor Cause you really gonna get dragged in the mud. I might. This may be my last video that I speak on this situation. Maybe you know, depending on how it goes, especially you know the next season and how it's played out. Because apparently, Fallon is supposed to um return back to the show, and that's probably gonna be Portia's storyline. The whole season is Fallon, Simon, and Dennis. That whole situation. And to be honest with you, Portia, you need your ass whooped. Now you are gonna have bitches. Thinking that every girl that's around they do want they man, and bitch and ladies don't don't be that type of female. Every every woman is not a, a a Porsche just because she's in the same area as your dude. But that makes women. But this situation makes women really side eye bitches like a Porsche. Porsche, you a beautiful girl. You got your you, you know. I want to say she her hairline is go naked or something like that. I think she used to do the whole um, lingerie thing. And now you're into bedding and sheets and stuff like that. So, you know, you're doing pretty well for yourself. And you want uh, Love and Hip Hop, uh, not Love and Hip Hop, Housewives of Atlanta. And Dennis, even, you know, it might not sound the most glamorous. He got his little hot dog thing. But he's a, he, he made millions off of it with the whole food industry. You know what I'm saying? So... What are you doing? Are you playing chess or are you playing checkers? Because it looked like you you selling your pussy just for ratings. Just like, like girl, Simon. And again, and people will say, you know, well, damn, what type of man is Dennis? Or what type of man is, um, well, Simon? Fuck them. We already, you know, it's already stories about uh Simon. You know, Simon's not really his real name according to the blogs. It's his middle name. And, you know, he, you know, he came up in millions, you know, illegally. You know, he'd be doing, you know, some shiesty shit like that. But, girl, like, with Simon, you're basically, in the words of Funky Dineva, he pulled the panties to the side and let him slide through. He got in between your legs and in your butt. And you got pregnant after knowing him, after dating him, as you say, a month. You fell in love, got a ring, got pregnant, and you're apparently showing. That's why you're in the Floyd dresses in a month. Girl, you play. You are dead. You, you're, you're, you're lying. Through them fucking teeth of yours, you're lying. And I felt like if Fallon was another woman, would you have would you have done that? You know what I'm saying? Would you have did it with and, and, and if it is for ratings, because that's what it's looking like. Because apparently you're supposed to get a three a three part show, just just Portia. And apparently they said that this was already in the works. 
But now all of a sudden that this whole thing with you and Simon it has popped off. Now they want to promote it. You know, I haven't seen the show and I haven't really, really got into it like that. So like I said, I may do another video on this as, you know, this story progress and, you know, the show comes back on for season 14. But yeah, Portia, you looking real, real trifling out here. That would make... And, you know, Portia has done certain things in the past that was very uh, flagrant. The whole thing with um, her and Phaedra and Candy with the whole accusing Candy of having a sex dungeon and all that shit and uh, drugging girls. That was one. Two, you know, I ain't going to bring up the whole thing with you and Ken because that's been beat down since y'all started the show and that was y'all been on the show halfway through the seasons that's already out now so it's like you you've been doing a little little bullshit even with the whole thing with you and marlo I, like i said i haven't really watched the show so i'm not gonna really get into what she's what she has done but you know for you to be such a, a beautiful woman and you know you're a mom now you like i said before you don't really have the best dating choices you date as if you're 16 you have dating choices of a 16, 18, 21 year old. Girl, you pushing 40. You're not, yeah, you still look good and body yada yada and all that bullshit. You still look good for your age. You almost would. If not, if she's not 40, she's damn near 40. So she still look good for her age. She can really go for like late 20s, early 30s, depending on, you know, what eye you looking on, what side, you know, she how she looking that day. You know what I'm saying? But the simple fact that She's always had poor dating choices. And even at your age now at almost 40, if, if you're not already 40 on the dot, that tells me that girl, you haven't grown from your, for your, uh, your, um, not first, but her only marriage. Then like that was how many years ago? That's when you was like damn near 10 years ago. If not 10 years ago, when you was like in your late twenties, when you divorced Cordell, you still making those. I thought when she divorced Cordell that she was going to bounce back and really boss up and stuff like that. Then when she got with Dennis, you know, even though Dennis had his little, you know, infidelity issues and, you know, they over here talking about he was fucking animals on some, what's it called? Bestiality or some shit like that. So it's like, uh, but it's like, come on now. Come on. And obviously PJ Pilar didn't, didn't make you grow up either. But I'm going to end it on that. Y'all can leave it in the comments. You know, everybody's talking about this whole thing. Like, she's like the main topic right now. Probably will be the main topic for the next week or two. You know what I'm saying? Um, y'all leave it in the comments how y'all feel about the situation. Will you even tune in into maybe her three-part show or even a little bit of the Housewives? Because, you know, season 13 was a little dry. And then, you know, it kind of picked back up at the end, towards the end of the season when her and tanya allegedly or you know fuck the the, uh, the male stripper boho you know would y'all tune in to season 14 because of this whole scandal um yeah go ahead and leave it in the comments like comment subscribe okay and don't forget to follow my socials at india underscore underscore michelle on instagram and snapchat india.94 until next time with another video bye bye